<clears throat> peace hey y'all peace peace in y'all peace in what's going on my eye who else we got in here? Who else we got in here? What's going on? Peace in, y'all. Read up. What's going on? Peace reflection. Peace, reflection. Y'all hit that like button. Hit that like button. Let the people know we in here. What's going on? I ain't gonna hear. T- I'm not gonna be here too long. You know what I'm saying? I I am tired. Got a hurricane. You feel me? Got a hurricane here on top of me. Peace, peace, reflection. We dealing with the earth, uh, with the hurricane out here right now. It's not too bad, but. What's going on, y'all? What's up, y'all? Look at Florida. Yo, I see my home city in here too. <laughs> I see my home city. Look at this shit. As one of the most potent U.S. storms in recent history, Hurricane Ian slammed into Florida's Gulf Coast on Wednesday, wreaking havoc on the state with howling winds, heavy rain, and a dangerous surge of ocean surf. Oh yeah, I'm highly, I'm, I'm definitely protected. I was, I'm not worried about nothing. I'm not worried about nothing. Even though, even though if something happened to me, then it was meant to be. But I know I'm here to see the earth change. I'm definitely here to see the earth change. I'm part of this. Oh my gosh, you two for real? If you want to eat healthy and feel your best, you got to try Kachava. When the Kachava world is about is the to end. Healthiest all-in-one meal you know they is bullshit because they're always with coming up with a new with a new uh with a new supplement to sell you always Ian, coming with a new supplement to sell you with sustained wind look at this shit 150 miles per hour 241 kilometers per hour look at this landfall on Cayo costa a barrier island about west of fort myers at 305 p.m eastern daylight time wow <laughs> Look at this. This is this is my state, and I didn't feel nothing. All I all I'm getting right now is a little bit of wind and a little bit of rain. That's it. A little bit of rain and wind. That's it. Look at all On these the places. Sanford Simpson scale, category five is the most severe classification for storms with maximum sustained winds of at least 157 miles per hour, and the storm's wind speed slightly missed that mark. Look at this, y'all. But the storm quickly turned lovely beach towns into catastrophe areas. This stuff is... When has this stuff ever happened like this? When has this stuff ever happened like this? I'll wait. Let me know. 
Let me know when has this stuff ever happened like this. Videos shared on social media and broadcasted locally showed water fueled by the strong storm surge pouring through neighborhoods and almost reaching rooftops an hour after landfall. Look, so this is, no, that, I don't know if that's Key West or not. Crap. Taking them for a ride, boy. Look at Fido. Floodwaters had almost <laughs> completely engulfed Fort Myers Beach, and cars and the remains of homes could be seen floating downstream. Okay. Goodbye, floating dock. <laughs> Goodbye. This is. <laughs> A video of Sanibel Island showed the ocean crashing through the seawall and into the swimming pool of a vacation hotel. This is ridiculous. Wow. So the street signs. Ian would bring with it straw. Authorities advised locals that it was too late for anyone who had not yet evacuated to do so safely as y'all can see Florida's Gulf Coast and its lab. As y'all can see, nobody is safe from this shit. You know what I'm saying? Nobody is safe from this uh, this this is the this is definitely the great cleansing going on right now. The world is definitely changing if you're not aware of it. Every single day, every single day, we are we are showed this. You know what I'm saying? Um what was I gonna say? That being said, y'all, um, there's a lot of things that are um, set to happen. Like, I've been talking about stuff like this for years, for five years, before TikTok even came into being. I've been talking about this stuff for five years. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, peace in, family, peace, peace, peace in. I've been talking about this stuff for about five years now. And they're literally making it blatant in your face about what's about to happen. We know, we know what's happening is the sun that is heating up, right? The sun is heating up and it's causing these solar flares, these solar prominences to come off of the sun, which is a plasma being, a nine ether being. Um, and this, this solar flare, this, the, these, promises, these prominences that this, uh, the sun is releasing, and it's coming on to you and you are taking this energy in is, is it literally transmitting you from the inside out. So um, because of this, they have no idea. Because, um, so the solar flares are going to cause electromagnetic, what they call an EMP, which is literally knocking off the grid, the old 3D grid that has been basically usurping our energy for the longest because this 3D grid is unoriginal to what we what we created. You know what I'm saying? We created the original, the original blueprint to this planet and they come here and destroy it, destroy all the pyramids and put their fictitious, their whole matrix system in here. And you think it was going to survive? You know what I'm saying? You think it was going to survive? So now they're trying to call it an EMP, talking about, oh, North Korea, oh, China, oh, this have EMP. No, just tell it the truth. Why are you not talking about the sun? Why, why aren't you not talking about the sun? You have all your other scientists and NASA talking about the sun, but all you're doing is talking about EMPs on TV, throwing the people off, not no, not telling the people what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? Not telling the people what's really, really going on. So, um... So I'm just here to share a little bit of information, you know what I'm saying? Like I always do. I got some videos in here to show you guys. Uh, and yeah, we're going to get it popping, you know? I hope all y'all doing well. I'm in the midst of a hurricane, so um, I love it. It's windy outside. It's windy outside. It's raining. This is great sleeping weather. As you can see, I'm a little tired. I will be resting up after this honestly and just having a great great evening you know um so that being said for people who are asking me there's people who've asked me about preparing for what's to come um i'm gonna tell you this you have everything you need within yourself in order to know what to do i'm gonna let you know that this is another reason why you're not worried this is another reason why you're not worried. This is not going to affect you like everybody else. 
because all this that's happening, the EMP and whatnot is causing a, a, how can I say this? The frequency of the earth is changing, right? So the energy that's coming, the energy that's coming out of the, the, the energy that's coming out of the sun is good for you. So as this destroys the old magnetic field of the, of the earth, this is causing the, the, the grid, the earth, the dome to break down. So entities or beings who are not natural to this earth, they will start to literally freak out. I mean, literally bug out. What? Hold on. I'm going I'm to show you all this right quick. Hold on. So we're going to start it off like this, y'all. We're going to start it off like this. So I've talked about this before. Great evening, great evening, you know what I'm saying? Great evening, great evening to all. I've talked about this before where because of the vibration of the planet is changing, it is becoming higher, right? So who are the first people they're going to attack? The children. The children are the first people they're going to attack. The reason why is the children are the ones that are going to feel this energy first. They're going to start changing with them first. Remember, if you've seen that new Thor movie, right? The new Thor movie, when 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 Thor passes the the, the blade to Axel, Axel, which is um, what's his name, son, his best friend's son, um, and he opens up the the portal into the new dimension because. Literally, the kids are the portal to the next dimension. You know, the kids are the future. This is why they, this is what they do. This is why they do what they do with the kids. They don't want them to be the future. They don't want them to change this world. They don't want to change this reality. So what they do is they get you busy. They make you busy while they create all this illusion, all this, you know, this, 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 uh, this type of excitement around your children and they get them to come here and then they take them. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do. And then they get you to, they, they get you to create a, a false reality for yourself, all um, and trapping you within your mind, because it's literally what it is. It's it's a mind trap. It's a mind trap. Again, this is why the people who run this place is called the government. Um, so we're gonna start it like this. Um, I'm watching. I watched this video of this Wawa. You know what I'm saying? This Wawa, and there's a whole bunch of children that are that are ransacking um, the Wawa. And what I see from this is these people are being paid to do this. These people are being paid to do this because I've seen it in, in other locations as well. You see this shit? Look at this shit. What do you, you look at this girl like twerking on top of the? Look at this. So I believe they are paying the children to go act up a fool. And the reason why I say this is because there's something else going on with the children as well. What they're doing right here. The country in the last two weeks, more than a dozen states reporting hoax calls to 911 about school shooters. The FBI is now getting involved. ABC's Phil Lipoff joins us with a story. Good morning, Phil. Good morning, Ariel. And you're right. As you point out, the FBI is now involved and that should tell anybody considering calling in a fake threat. All right. For, for those for those who ask for the gentlemen, for the people who ask, why is it always our children? They successfully indoctrinated most of you. I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about most of you in here. These people have successfully indoctrinated you. If you don't believe me, look at the position that we are in. If we weren't successfully indoctrinated by the system, why are we in this system? So in order to keep that future going, they have to attack the future of you. So this is why they attack your children. They put bullshit TV in front of it. They program them and tell them what they do. And even in books, even in books, even in books, they put subliminal messages in books. They put subliminal messages in books in order to, and these are only things that children can um, can can grasp because children have a children 
Um, their third eye is basically open when they come in here, but predicated upon the type of environment that they are in, you know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about the parents put them in or the situation that they're in. These children can have their, what, their, their pineal gland closed all, all the way to the point that their soul could eject from their body. You know what I'm saying? This is what you call a bot or soulless being. Yes, melanated people, you can be soulless as well. And the reason why you can be soulless is because of the type of trauma and atrocities that you are bearing to when you are in this reality. Depending on the type of parents or what you want to experience or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? We as a we as melanated gods and, and celestial beings are not supposed to uh, uh, experience trauma. All this shit that's happened about 400 years ago with all, all with, with slavery and whatnot. We're not supposed to experience that shit. So what this does, it causes trauma within the body. You, and you want to know, <clears throat> and then your children are born into this world where they go to school, they're indoctrinated and told lies. And you wonder why they are failing in the school system. Because none of this shit that they're teaching them is true. And then the fact of the matter is, the people who are teaching them are the oppressors who have been doing it for them for, for thousands and thousands of years. You know what I'm saying? So what sense does that make? So again, <clears throat> This type of this type of trauma can definitely cause a soul to eject from the body because we're not supposed to experience this. We are celestial beings. We are love. We are high vibrational beings. That's why we don't do. That's why we go back to loving one another whenever we are not messed with. You know what I'm saying? So they have to constantly mess with us. They have to constantly mess with us. They have to constantly keep a, a foot on their, a, a foot on our necks. So this is why they attack the children. If they attack the children, they don't have to worry about you. You, you're not going to be a problem because you're going to die off in like 10, 20, 30 years. You know what I'm saying? The children are the future. They're the ones that's going to be the future police officers, the future lawyers, the future this, the future that, or food. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. That's what it is. That's why they attack the children. That's why they attack the children. Hold on. Threat. Just how serious this is. Calling it a threat, real or fake, so is they, the same. <clears throat> it's a federal crime. So this is they're, they're, they're just attacking the school system. Across the country, fake calls to police about active shooters in schools. How the hell can you do this to kids? Like, what goes through your head that you target children? It's called SWATing because <clears throat> emergency responders, SWAT and tactical teams... Interesting. Interesting. See, you got you to gotta, you gotta understand how these people think. Why, why would they give it a name? Why would they give it a name? Why would... It's kind of like the, you know, the, the Circus 19, right? They already gave it a name. How are you going to give something a name that never existed? You know what I'm saying? Huh? Unless it was planned. You already have a name for this thing. And this is happening in, at multiple schools. So, again, what this is doing is it's causing a fear within the children. It's like, So, you have no idea. This is, this is anxiety. This is stress. Because when these children go to school, they don't know when a real shooter might pull up. They don't know when a real shooter might pull up. They're looking at each other all weird and whatnot. And guess what? Because of this, now it's children probably carry... They'll probably steal mommy and daddy's gun and bring it to school with them as a form of protection. You see what I'm saying? This is this is literally crazy shit that's going on right now. This is literally the yo, that wind is howling. That wind is howling out there. <laughs> I must sleep good tonight. I must sleep good. To engage, but there's no threat. And as you can see, look. Look, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. Look. Right, look, they're running on the Masonic floors. <laughs> They're running on the Masonic floors, boy. And if you know anything about these boys, these by these boys are Masons. But there's no threat. They're running on the Masonic floors. Schools across Ohio in seven cities getting the hoax calls. Students huddled under desks, parents waiting outside in agony. According to the National Association of School Resource Officers, in addition to Ohio, I'm all right. I'm not gonna spend so much time on this. Look, I'm all I know. All I know is, man, this shit is. Listen. Again, their, their their system is over. Their system is the game is over for them. So they're trying to find any means necessary in order to try to try to keep the the vibration of the planet low. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to mess with y'all. And I'm gonna tell you this, y'all. The the jig is up. The game is over for them. The game is over for them. But guess what? That means it's over for you too. You won't have to deal with this shit anymore. <laughs> if it's over for them, it's over for you too. You don't have to deal with this shit anymore. You know what? I mean, it's up to you. 
it's up to you if you want if you want to go and experience a beautiful life. You know what I'm saying? The prime life where you belong, where you're with your families, people that look like you, walk like you, talk like you, act like you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This is what's literally was happening. Um, so people were talking about um, something was supposed to happen on the 24th of uh, of September. Oh, like oh, something big was supposed to happen. Something big was happening. And I got a video. Hold on. I'm going to show y'all. But again, listen, y'all. You got to take a look at this way. Most people, most people believe that. Um, hold on. Let me, let me show y'all this video. And then I'll go in. You know what I'm saying? People were wondering if something happened on the 24th of September, yeah. 2022. Y'all probably seen this. Well, something did happen. Entities flying very fast, making sharp Look. turns. Also making the double helix. So. We're caught on camera. Inevitably flying into the clouds. Showing lights all throughout the so These are plasma beings. These are plasma Bye. beings. It's 2022. What is that? These are plasma beings dancing in the sky. He said they were making the double helix that's, that's for your DNA. Me, there's what? two of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So there's... Oh my God, guys, you are looking. I don't know what you're looking at. Look, they're, they're UFOs. If ever there's an unidentified flying object, that's that. Those are light like beings. Those are plasma beings. There are two of them flying next to each other. Oh my God. You guys, I don't think you realize how lucky you are to even witness something like this. Look at them. Oh what is that? Can I quickly go that way a bit? Look at that. Yeah, go where you want. Look at that. I'm running over. <laughs> but I want the golf course. All right, listen. Okay. Project Bluebeam, right? Hold on. For 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 um for the reflection who asked about Project Bluebeam, right? Okay. All right, you can say Project Bluebeam, right? Where where do you think Project Bluebeam came from? Do you think they just do you think Caucasians just created it? Do you, do you believe that? Because according to history itself, we created everything. There, there's nothing. There's nothing new that they created. There's nothing new that they created. So Project Blue Beam or not, this is our technology that's being used, and I'm gonna tell you, it's being used for us. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing here that's being used against us. That what you just saw right there, regardless what, regardless if it's Project Blue Beam or not, they're 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 telling you what the DNA. We've been seeing literally nothing about. We just been seeing things about DNA lately. We seen her, what, what we seen earlier. What we seen the Queen of England light up the three strand DNA going up to the Tree of Life, synonymous of um, basically the new the new kingdom that's being born, right? The new the heaven on earth that's being born that's being presented to you right now. You know what I'm saying? Through this frequency, through all this shit that's happening, you see the world changing right before your eyes. You cannot tell me that the world is not changing. You know what I'm saying? There is a there is an old system breaking down, but at the same time, there's a new foundation coming up. This is ethereal, okay? You are not a physical being. Stop thinking that you are a physical being. You are not a body with a soul. You are a soul with a body. You are a soul with a body. You're not, you're, you're just experiencing the physical for the, for, the, for the time being. So everything that is happening is happening from the etheric level, okay? The physical reality is about to disappear from this. You're not going to experience, you're only experiencing this physical reality because you're in this illusion, what they call Maya right now, okay? Which is splitting. The world is about to split right now, which is you're not going to experience the negativity and all this shit that has been happening to our people for the longest. Remember, when they said when God will return, when God returned, the devil's reign will be over. The devil's reign will be over. The devil is synonymous to this world and people who were created into this world. The physical reality. We are not physical. We are not physical. At our highest extension, we are ether beings. We manifested into the physical. Well, this reality is over. This reality is over now. This physical reality is over and we are splitting. So, it doesn't matter 
It doesn't matter. Project Blue Beam, not Project Blue Beam. That shit was created in order to basically keep you from seeing your ancestors that are about to come here. That's exactly why it was created. Know that. There's always, when, whenever, this is the word of duality. So when they're talking about something bad, know that something's good about to happen. Just know that. Understand that, okay? You can choose to focus on the bad if you want to, but that's only you. That's your perspective looking at it. You remember? You could either look at the glass half full or half empty. It's up to you. You know what I'm saying? Pessimistic or optimistic. This is duality. You get to choose your reality the way that you want to create it. So that being said, we'll continue with that. Hold on, y'all. Check this out. Check this out. Now it's about to get a little. It's, it's, it's about to get a little bit more interesting. Now you feel me? Um. So to the people, um, for those asking me about getting ready, because yeah, this this is going to be an extension level event. This is going to be an extension. I mean, this is going to be an extension level event to the point that there's going to be a myriad. There's going to be a lot of people dying. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be you, but it's going to be a lot of people dying, okay? The soulless beings and then the people who don't belong here in the first place are going to, are, are going to be dis, uh, uh, eradicated from this reality. So, um, that, uh, so even they show you this shit, remember the, 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 Simpsons, uh, the Simpsons show is fucking, it's, uh, it's, uh, how can I say this? It is, uh... <laughs> It's unbeatable, okay? It's unmatched. When it comes to truth, Simpsons always tell you the truth. It is unbeatable. They always, they always winning. So if the Simpsons are showing you it, just know that shit's about to happen regardless, y'all. So um, y'all probably seen this, but we're going to watch this, and then we're going to continue with, 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 uh, with the, with the plan. Plane, part 12. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. This thing's a little... All right, that's a little better. Anarchy and the civil others coming soon to an American near you. America can't collapse. We're as powerful as ancient Rome. Uh, take a look at this. The modern world. <laughs> it's funny he said ancient Rome because, I mean, we we're literally still in ancient Rome. It's just about to... Is it? <laughs> we're slaves to the system. Close the supermarket and we starve. Cut off the tap. We drink our cat's blood. Yeah, that shit, boy. Look at this, right? See? They put the truth right in your face. Solar flares. But they're not even talking about this shit, right? But the Simpsons, for some reason, is talking about it. The Simpsons, for some reason, is talking about it. If we got a bot in the chat, someone get rid of him. Uh, I, him or her. I don't care. Um, what's it called? Delete whoever don't belong here. Delete all that shit. <laughs> Delete all that shit. This new world, the man who is prepared. Look at this shit. Wow. Oh my god. This unsourced, undated video has convinced me beyond any doubt. I'm the guy you want to know when the stuff hits the fan. Homer, meet the Springfield Preppers. Now, Homer, what would you do in the case of an EMP? Electromagnetic pulse. A burst of radiation that knocks out every electrical system in the country. When things go south, the sheeple will clean out every supermarket in town. Typical sheeple. Homer, <laughs> we all know America's collapse. Three months or six weeks. You hear that? Hold on, hold on. I don't I don't know when this I don't know when this episode came out, but they just told you. I'm not saying it's going to happen right now, but y'all y'all need to prepare, you know what I'm saying? This this is um hold on. We're we'll gonna to continue with Typical this. Typical sheeple. Homer, we all know America's collapse is about three months away. Six weeks at most. Six There's weeks. Always one alarmist. Anyway, with a four horseman ride. We want you and your collaterals right here with us. Oh. Horse horsemen. I've already talked about the horsemen. 
They're coming. They're coming. Uh-oh. See? These are our bug out bags. In here is everything we need to survive. Survive what? The looming kablooey. Interesting, they said bug out bags in Colorado, Denver, Denver, New York, and California was telling you about bug out bags, right? And they're telling y'all to uh, get y'all bug out bags ready for what's coming. They're talking about nuclear war. Now, we already know what the hell is going nuclear. We already know what the biggest source of nuclear uh, nu nuclear war is. It's your boy Ra. You know what I'm saying? It's war backwards. It's your boy Ra. I'm trying to see you're aware of the future, but this is all a little creepy. Creepy? March, the apocalypse is coming. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe never. The apocalypse. But it's coming. And soon. And soon. See that? An EMP? You know what that means? Hand scissors. Ow. <laughs> Um, so as you can see, I, as you can see, um, the Simpsons showing you and you know, the Simpsons are Simpsons are practically always right because, um, the people who create the Simpsons are Freemasons themselves. So, um, of course they know the truth. They have to tell you the truth. This is one way they, 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 this is one way they tell you the truth because, um, they're not going to come out and tell you because you have what's called, you have what's called, the deep state, right? Okay. The deep state. The R so on what? I don't know what you're saying. So you have the deep state. The deep state, the deep state's job is to basically keep you in the dark. Okay, this is why they call it the deep state or in the dark. So they basically um tell the government what to do and basically um I live in San Diego, and there's something strange going on. What's going on? Tell tell us what's going on. In tell 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 us what's strange going on in San Diego, huh? Tell us what's strange that's going on in San Diego. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know what's going on in San Diego. It's not it's not crazy. The reason why they do that is it's universal law. Okay? It's universal law. You, they have to tell us what they're going to do. They don't have to come out and blatantly tell us, but they have to tell us. You know, this is you know, you this is one way you don't do wrong to yourself. Because you are like I am other versions of you. You are me, I am you. So it's a way to hold ourselves accountable for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, do I wanna experience this? Or do I not want to get to experience? Or do I not want to experience this? It's totally up to you. The choice is yours in the first place. You know what I'm saying? You can choose to go with that timeline or you don't have to. But what's happening is because the frequency of the planet is rising up, it's causing a separation. Okay? A split. The the organic planet is separate. The organic planet separates from the simulation that has been going on. The illusion that has been going on. The illusion goes on and continues to live but not in our reality. It's our reality that's ascending, okay? Us right here, our reality is ascending. Not it, Their reality is separating, is being destroyed. So all these people that are getting off the planet, their reality is being destroyed. Why did your mods ban me for asking them questions? <laughs> I, I have no idea. What's the call? I, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not in charge. You know, I'm just here to do my... I'm just here to talk. You feel me? I'm just here to talk. Um, I'm here to talk and share videos. I have no idea. What was, what was the question? What was the question anyways? What was the question anyways? I, I'm not... I put my mods here for a reason. My mods know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? I trust my mods. I trust my mods. They're doing their job. I mean, not even their job. They're, they're volunteering. You know what I'm saying? They're volunteering and, they're, and they do a great... They do a great volunteer. You know what I'm saying? A great volunteering uh, 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 job. <laughs> Uh, period. Ah. <laughs> Let's get it. Um, oh, 
Oh, voila me, you in here, huh? Peace. What's it called? Uh, probably because you were the one talking about black men living off our women. I didn't talk about black men living off our. I don't. I don't believe I talked about black men. Black men living off our women. You know what I'm saying? Um, we are. We are the sons of black women. You know what I'm saying? If any. If anything, that's why. That's why your mother is so loving. If it wasn't because of slavery, let me tell you, y'all. If it wasn't because of slavery, do you know why? You do you know why you get whipped? Do you know why the shit that your parents do to you? It's because of slavery, y'all. We don't we don't do this type of shit to our to our children. Like I couldn't even imagine me doing that type of shit, doing that type of shit to my child. So it is slavery that basically turned that made your parents hit you, that made your parents spank you, that made your parents use a book. So all that shit is all that shit is is the trauma. It's, it's the trauma that has been built within them that they never got to release. You know what I'm saying? You ever wonder why old, older generation people are, are, are more quiet? It's because they have a lot of shit within them that they haven't released. They have a lot of shit. The shit that they went through, they still haven't released. So they're more quiet about it. They keep it bottled up inside. And they wonder why they have more gout, more heart disease. You know what I'm saying? More liver, more liver disease. Their stomachs are messed up. You know what I'm saying? Because you have all that trauma, all that energetic energy within you that you need to spew. You ever hear, you ever come across them and they all they do is blah, 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 blah. They're spewing, they're spewing shit. That's less energetic trauma, man. That's, 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 that's energetic sickness that they never release. So know this, I, cause I always come across, I, when I come across older generation people, they they come to me and they start talking to me. They're like, man, I don't know why, but I feel like I can talk to you. And I'm just there to listen. Most of the time, I just listen because people just want to be heard. You know, there's people around, and then they, they when 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 uh, they want to be heard, but to listen to where where to the point that you give them a, a great response to the point that you you show them that you were not that you were not blanking out or you're just not you're not uh, in a, in a caring manner because they want you to listen. They have things that they can even been shared with you um, that you wouldn't even know. So you may have knowledge of the things that's going on right now, but they have older knowledge that they can pass on to you that you never even know. To the point that there's books that they can even that they even give you and whatnot. Shout out to my shout out to my uh, to my aunt. You know what I'm saying? Um, my earthly mother at this moment. So, um, but yeah, you know this is this is what it is. So exactly. So. Um, let, let them talk. Let them talk because they just want to share shit. You know, they've been through a lot. They've seen a lot more than you. That wisdom is going to come a long way for you. You never know how this is going to change your life. It's, you never know how this is going to change your life. And I'm so glad where when I come across um, an elder and I'm like, yeah, yeah, please share this. This is, I've always been like this. Since I've been young, I've always been like this. Whenever I was young and I was in Haiti, I would get up and go to the garden early in the rising, like four or five in the rising with my grandpa. And my grandpa would just be telling me stories. Even though I was young, I had... I didn't. Re I have no re uh, recollection of it, but that was one of my favorite times. That was my favorite times. So, um, I'm, 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 I'm spewing, but I'm trying to get this shit going, y'all. All right, let's get it. Check this out. Insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack, which would bring to a complete halt to the power supply, transportation, hospital services, our society as a whole. Now, so doesn't this guy look like a hog to me? Doesn't he look like a pig to me? I mean, to you? He looks like a pig to me. I'm just going to, that's what I'm going to say. Seen in this respect, as a small disturbance in comparison to a major cyber attack. To use the COVID-19 crisis as a timely opportunity Mr. to reflect Potato Head, boy. on the lessons the cybersecurity community Mr. Potato Head. can draw and improve our in preparedness for a potential cyber pandemic. So the cyber pen, the cyber. I believe that there will be another crisis. Uh, it will be more. All right. So that's multiple people who told you this, and the and and from the World Health, uh, from the World Economic Forum. He says, I believe there will be another crisis. He's being paid to. I mean, you already know this. You know what I'm saying? He said there's going to be another crisis, y'all. So I've been I've been saying this since twenty 
20 was it 2020 when Biden says there's going to be a, a climate lockdown again a climate lockdown or significant and you know we need to actually start preparing for that now when we do see this next crisis it will be faster you hear this than what we've seen with covid uh the exponential growth rate will climb uh be much steeper uh the impact will be greater and as a result, the economic and social uh, implications will be even more significant. Even we all know that still pay insufficient the pig, boy. to the frightening the scenario pig. of a comprehensive cyber attack. We all I hear is Yo, don't shut me down, TikTok. Yo, TikTok, don't shut me down. <laughs> don't shut me down, TikTok. Please don't shut me down. To a major cyber attack. To you, COVID-19 crisis as a timely opportunity to reflect on the lessons the cybersecurity community can draw. Cyber hacks like uh, the massive solar winds operation and recent attack to the colonial gas pipeline. Security experts warn it's clear that most businesses and key infrastructure like power grids across this country are woefully unprepared to meet such now, threats. Now, they went after our on. gas and they went after our hot dogs. No one is out of bounds here. Everyone is in play. Lawmakers like Senator Bob Hall of Texas also worry that means hackers could be just a few keystrokes away from turning the lights out in cities around <laughs> the country. The only hacker that I'm talking about is the sun, baby. Hack that shit up, boy. <laughs> You're certainly vulnerable across the board to uh, <clears throat> natural <throat> and man-made threats to our electric. <clears throat> now you hear what he said, natural and man-made. You always got to catch him in the act. You always got to catch them in the act. Natural and, and, and man-made. Let me. The EMPs are man-made. Naturals are EMFs. The same thing. The EMFs are called electromagnetic frequencies. The EMF that are coming from the sun and uh, the the synthetics are called EMPs, electromagnetic pulse. Now, to anybody that knows frequency, to anybody that knows energy, you know, uh, you know, a frequency is a pulse. A pulse, that's what the universe is. It's a pulse, a pulse that goes in and out, or toroidal field. So it is literally the same thing. So they're talking about literally the solar flares or the sun without even talking about the sun. Because we know what's going on right now, synonymous with the sun. So for every 11 year, every 11, every 11 year cycle, when the sun uh, reaches solar maximum, it releases these prominences, these gas, these ethers into the atmosphere where you take in and it changes you. You know what I'm saying? Depending on, depending on what, it, it, it depends on the, type of um how can i say this mm, uh zodiac it depends on what type of zodiac we are on that year because each zodiac breeds a different type of consciousness okay a different type of consciousness i'll go deeper into this at another time but each zodiac uh, breeds a different consciousness so it's letting off these prominences these ethers these uh these pheromones right that's in the air that you're taking in through your dna and it's changing you and it's basically making it's it's, it's ascending us and it's descending others so anybody who was who is not normal who don't have the melanin who can't take these gamma radiation that's coming in from the sun then you know what I'm saying? It's it's literally uh, it's it's the illusions coming down. That's what I, that's what I'm saying. The illusions coming down. But um, you hear what it's saying? And uh, and funny enough, and funny enough, they made a movie. They made a movie. I'm not a movie, but I think it's a TV show on Netflix about this shit. Hold on. Let's let's continue watching. This. A bridge system that could render it unrepairable in our lifetime. Paul you hear that? that Unre unrepairable in our lifetime. Okay. Actually concerned about an electronic magnetic pulse or EMP attack against the grid. It entails a simply one uh, small nuclear weapon uh, being detonated above the central part of the United States over Nebraska, Kansas area would put out a uh, create a pulse from coast to coast and border to border that would totally annihilate our electric system is there's really no excuse for the country to be vulnerable to emp dr peter pry right former cia so intelligence i gotta ask right you know what i'm saying for everybody for people talking about oh harp 
Oh, this. Oh, my God. Oh, they got high, they got high technology. Why can't they stop an EMP? They have all these high technologies. Why can't they stop an EMP? How can you stop the sun? How can you stop? So it can't be an artificial thing, right? It can't be artificial. You, If it was something artificial, you could stop it because this is an artificial sim simulation, right? The simulation is artificial. So it cannot be artificial. What's happening is it must be, it must be organic. You can't stop it. This is why you're scared of it. Because it's organic, you cannot stop it. If it was something artificial, you could have stopped it. You could have made something to stop the EMP. But you can't stop an EMF. You cannot stop that at all whatsoever. So they're talking shit. Hold on, y'all. Let's continue this. This officer sits on the Department of Homeland Security For EMP task force. He's out with on, a report this question. week concluding that North Korea is now in possession of EMP weapons so strong that no electric grid could survive from such an attack. North Korea almost certainly has developed super EMP weapons. These are nuclear weapons that are specialized to produce extraordinarily powerful electromagnetic pulse effects. And it would make it along with Russia and China. Hey, you, you want to know what's in them? Confetti? <laughs> Confetti's in them bitches? Texas is now leading the nation's efforts to defend against such electromagnetic threats. In collaboration with the Air Force's Joint Base San Antonio, Confetti's in the retired things. Brigadier Look General this. Guy Walker. This motherfucker look like a weasel. Look at him. Bush, look at this weasel. Look like he's about to tell a teacher right now. Experts are tell studying tell look vulnerabilities. The same fellow who told you that, don't worry, we're going to end this by the summer. We're about to go into a dark winter. A, a dark winter? A dark winter. Look. And he has no clear plan. This Check this out. Check this out. We're about to go into it. A... I'm not tired. Now this is a movie. No. This, this is this is this is on Netflix. This is on Netflix. I, I believe it's called Awake. This is on Netflix. Check this out. This is the this is what uh, the EMP is to come. All right. This is the EMP EMP to the come. Shooting stars. Look. So this is also in Moonfall, right? Those are satellites now. Right. This is also in Moonfall because it says. Uh, um, um, the satellites are going to fall out of the sky because the, the when the sun releases the EMP, everything like planes, whatever is in the sky, whatever. This is why everything is shutting down, y'all. This is why everything is shutting down. Everything is getting ready for the EMP that's getting ready to release, right? Don't you see all these airplane companies canceling? I mean, canceling their flights, mm -hmm. right? Right? Then Starlink bring down uh, uh, like 40, 40 satellites, and they're still doing things behind your back that you have no idea. They're just giving you a little snippet, a little bit of clips. They'll tell you, oh, um, uh, this satellite is starting to fall down. But at meantime, they're taking down all these other satellites that you have no idea. You know what I'm saying? Every yeah, everything is glitching. Everything is glitching because the sun is letting off these prominences every single single day and these these energies are permeating the ether remember your aura your bio field is always interacting with everything so there's gases there's things in the ether that's interacting with that your aura is interacting with it right now taking in information every single thing you're constantly getting light waves from the from the sun that is constantly interacting with you causing your dna to upgrade you're either getting upgraded or downgraded again if you are organic you're getting upgraded if you're not organic you're getting downgraded meaning the illusion that we have been subjugated to is falling down. Let's continue. Now you see, you see what's happening, right? When the AMP happens. You see how everything just stops? Curse too. Fifteen hours ago, something happened. We don't know what caused it or why it occurred. But what we do you see know is that none of us can sleep. You heard that, right? You heard that, right? You heard that, right? None of us can sleep. Why? Why is that? Hmm? Why is that? Why can't none of us sleep? Because they are being disconnected from the grid. The 3D organic grid, the simulation has been disconnected. 
They have been disconnected. They're talking about they can't sleep because the magnetic field of the earth has been broken down. So what is happening is now the radiation of the sun can go full force. It's going to be barbecue in this bitch. <laughs> Yo, that's all I got to say. Remember how they got barbecue from us? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, that gamma radiation is gonna be it's gonna be now some artificial barbecue. Mm. And by the time we're gonna be vegan, we're gonna be breath area, we're gonna be solar areas, we ain't had to worry about you that. It don't bother me. You know what I'm saying? It, it don't bother me. Period. Ah, period. Uh, let's get it. <laughs> it shit don't bother me. After 48 hours of no sleep, there's a loss of critical thinking. Disorientation. Stage one is showing y'all. Chaos. Now, now remember, now remember, right? Remember, right? Now, if you now if you look at the prisoners, look. If you look at the prisoners, what did this tell you about um, uh, Chicago? What did it tell? You, what, did, what is what, what just happened in Chicago? Hmm? What just happened in Chicago? Starting January. Oh shit, y'all! Hold on. Look at this. Hmm? What just happened in Chicago? What happened in Chicago? What's gonna happen in Chicago starting January? Let's get it. Y'all have this is all planned. Get in. Now you see a black guy. Five or Hallucinations. Mm -hmm. We're all gonna die if we <laughs> you, don't solve this. Do you hear? How are you gonna solve that? Let's go. Let's go right now. Hysteria. Hands up! Get out! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! I can sleep. <laughs> I can't sleep. Hell yeah, you can sleep. You about to go night night. To sacrifice her. She's my daughter and she's coming with me. You be strong, okay? We're not giving up. No one is attacking us. Our survival depends on her. Let's get to work. Now. Now, the funny thing is, you see at the end of this movie right here, you see this girl on her, on her, in the hospital. And she looks like she's passing out. Uh, and I'm going I'm, I'm to go in the deeper detail. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show y'all what's been going on as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show, show y'all, you know, you know, let's continue this, y'all. Let's continue. Hey, y'all, hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button. Let's get it. Let's get it, y'all. Um... Let's continue. Now. This is happening everywhere in the world. Hmm. This is happening everywhere in the world. Now. That little girl. Now, check this out. Check this out. This is happening everywhere in the world. Check this out. Look at this shit. Look. Look, people are just falling over. Look, he's twitching. He's glitching. He's glitching. Right? He's glitching. Understand, y'all. <clears throat> your body is technology. Understand. Okay? If your technology, if the technology was not made for this world, what do you think is going to happen to you when the world, when the old world returns? Hmm? If the technology that you are inhabiting was not made for this world, what do you think is going to happen to you? Hmm? TikTok, please do not delete my videos. This is for informational purposes only. I'm a, you see that, right? Hmm? Look at this. Look at this shit. Hold on. Check this out. Oh, check this out. Se para justo allí en la farola. Ahí está un segundito. Seguramente esperando a que pasen coches o algo, entiendo. Fíjate cuando falla la cámara y justo en el momento coincide con eh, la fulminación. ¿eh? Ahí, hay un fallo, ¿te das cuenta? Y sí. cae repentino. A ver si podemos darle un poquito hacia atrás. Your boy just, just fell on the side of the road. 
Lo vamos a ver otra vez. Ahí. ¿Eh? Bam. Clarísimo. Bam. Carísimo, ay, 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 carísimo, look at this shit. Carísimo. Yo me hice más. Isa. Piri A, Piri A, Piri A, Piri A. Look, y'all see this shit, right? I'm, I show y'all. Is it the teacher? So, why, why isn't the news speaking up about this? Why why isn't the news speaking up about this? I just want to know. Why isn't the news speaking up about this? You see these people glitching. Look, uh, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Check this out. Check this out. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. So it goes to show you who are the organic people. It goes to show you who are organic people. And you already know melanin is condensed sunlight. Pardon me. Neuromelanin is condensed sunlight. And you see who is condensed sunlight. Anybody else? Remember, as, so <clears throat> as above, so below. As above, so below. The stars, the planets, the planets and the suns are above. You are the star and the planets manifested in the physical form. Any other thing is an illusion. Any other thing that, doesn't, that does not look like you is an illusion. Any and every other thing that does not look like you is an illusion. Just know that. You are condensed sunlight. You are a star in the physical. Any other thing that does not look like you is an illusion. So, um, hold on. Check this out. TV. Bang, bang, bang. What's up, family? More life, infinite love. Yazid. Yo, Check this out. family. It seems like they've hit the kill switch on the Jabberwockies, Check this out. Yeah, man. They just freezing up like your boy right here. Completely locking up, shutting down. Yeah, man. Like, the surrogates, they're being cut off from their connection. Like I was telling you guys before. I told y'all. We are, demons we are ascending. Uh, the new algorithm is here. Yeah, the connection's cut, fam. And now the surrogates are just They are being off. disconnected. And what intrigues me about this family they is... Are, I, I said this. I said they are being disconnected. They are being ejected from this reality. Okay? Imagine, imagine uh, an electrical cord uh, tethering down into their avatar, right? Well, that connection is being, te is being severed. Okay? The connection is being severed. Hold on. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Watch this. All right, check this out. So, right, you have this right here. These are the magnetic field lines of the earth, right? You have the magnetic field line of the earth. Now, these are breaking off, okay? These are breaking off. So, think about this being the 3D version of the magnetic field line of the earth, okay? So, these are breaking off and we are connecting to the 4D, 5D magnetic field lines. Now, the 4D, 5D magnetic field lines only connect to organic beings. Organic beings. Organic beings. Beings, if you are not an organic being, that 4D, those 4D, 5D magnetic field line is not connecting to you because literally we are literally ascending every single day, every single day. The pressure, the energy, the frequency gets higher and higher. Remember, love is love rises, heat rises. So the vibration of the planet is going to get hotter and hotter and they won't be able to sustain it. OK, they won't be able to sustain it. So they are literally being disconnected from their body because they don't belong in the higher world. So this is what's happening. So their 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 the ethereal cord is being disconnected from here. So that's why they're looking back at it. They're looking back up because literally that whatever was connected is connected them down here is literally being being severed for them in the etheric world. In the etheric world, this is this is it's crazy. See the look on their faces. They keep looking up in the sky and then spinning around. Disconnected. The, they have like this look of horror on their face, like they're seeing something. Before they lock up, fam. Look, y'all. Really you see, it's not They're us. All spinning like this. Now, now, check this guy out. Here's another example, family. He's gonna look up. See, they, they start like looking up. Now, look, he's fighting something, literally fighting something. He's attacking him, and then he's gonna lock up, fam. They're being attacked. 
they're being attacked. It's whatever is remotely controlling or riding these people is something demonic and it's being attacked. And they're fighting it off, family. And they have this look of fucking horror. They're seeing something we're not seeing. Yeah, they tap into the hell, the hell spin family. This you feel me? You know how we talk about the shit. heavenly spin? Disconnect. And then and the, the heavenly spiral. They, they're on the downward spiral family. Done. They changed their DNA, fam. And they tapped into something from the other side, man. Yeah, these people are being remotely controlled by some kind of demons. And these monsters must be appearing to them or something. Because they are seeing something right before they lock up. In every instance, it's really strange. If you guys notice, it's like they're looking up, Mom. turning around, spinning around, doing all kinds of things. But Let's they connect. all share something in common. This locking up thing. The surrogate is turned off. The avatar shut down like a machine. See? Look at that. Shut family. down. Free shut down. I locked. told y'all, your and body you is a machine. Your body is a machine. Your body is a machine. The most, the most intelligent machine in the universe. Your body is a machine. The most, the the melanated body is the most intelligent machine in the universe. And it is, and it is, it is made for a specific frequency. Okay, we are ascending to this this, this frequency that the melanated body is made for. If you do not have a certain amount of melanin within your body, this is what's going to happen to you. It's literally what's going to happen to you. I'm, I'm, I'm not even lying. With this frequency that's ascending, I mean, with this frequency that's happening, this is what's happening. With the frequency that's coming down, this is what's happening. So you see that? And then... <laughs> Check this out, family. Hold on. Hold on. Check this out. Hello. Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing? Hey, sorry about the yeah. I'm Fernando. I work with Energy. We're a few doors now. We're in 1845. Okay. So we do solar around here. We're just coming around talking to niggers. Uh, <laughs> sorry, dude. Niggers. I apologize, man. Wow. I gotta play that shit, yo. I gotta play that shit, bro. That's, we gotta, I gotta hear that shit again, bro. That shit's a lot. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I gotta play that shit again. <laughs> Look, you see, this is, I'm gonna tell you the, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Hello? Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing? Hey, sorry about that. Yeah. I'm Fernando. I work with Energy. We're a few doors down. We're in 1845. Okay. So we do solar around here. We're just coming around talking to niggers. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, dude. Niggers. I apologize. Yeah. Yeah, he fucked. He fucked. <laughs> yeah. Yo, how many, t how many times do you think he says that on a daily, huh? <laughs> It rolled off. Of, it rolled off of him so so effortlessly. So we're going around talking to niggers. <laughs> oh shit! We're going around talking to niggers. You know what I'm saying? It's shit crazy. And the funny thing about the the thing about it is, it's 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 um what's his name? When I played that dude, right? That dude basically knowing who and who and what we are. It's he said he said himself he doesn't know why hold on matter of fact i'm gonna show y'all hold on i told y'all my name is russell targ he, my name is russell targ i'm a physicist and it's my great pleasure to tell you about the okay that's that's not i'm not trying to hear that He said, he told y'all he doesn't know. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. 
This right here. He said he doesn't. He said he doesn't know. Check this out. Yesterday, I discovered the truth about the black race. Um, <laughs> Look. Unfortunately, to all of us uh, less woke white folks, um, the black man, he is superior. Uh, I t he doesn't know why. Hold on, let me see. The the people really were the Egyptians and the and the English and the French. That's why our our women can't get enough uh, uh, BBC. <laughs> I don't know. It's just what I was told. Is that was true? Um, <laughs> Is that true? The black man for years has been held down Hold by. On. Uh, are, are by white supremacy. This dude is no by he, white skin. He's serious. Means that I am the devil. Uh, Hold on. I I realize this. Listen. Sitting and thinking. Listen. Subconsciously, all I think about is oppressing black people. You hear this? I I have dreams about taking taking a sailboat out to Africa, and. Uh, Buying a couple black folks for uh, a few beads and a uh, coat, and uh, you know, I just I I fantasize about putting chains on on a dark ebony ebony skin. That's that's what I dream about all the time, and I. That's what he dreams about. See, it's in their DNA because this this is what they were created to do. This is what they created to do. Now, a lot of people, this video has gotten a lot of views, you know. Um, now, a lot of people talking about that he is not serious or whatever that he's saying. He's making a joke out of it. No, he is really serious. People just don't know how to read body language. People don't have people don't have people don't know how to read emotions. People are so disconnected with themselves. They don't they don't see when someone's being very uh, is, is being sincere. They, they can't tell when someone's being sincere or telling the truth or whatnot. And he's telling the truth. He's telling you how great you are and you still can't see that. It's fucked up, huh? He's telling you how great you are and you still can't see that. You have to see it as a form of a joke. It goes to show you how most how most melanated how brainwashed most melanated most melanated people are. How brainwashed most melanated people are. You can't even see the greatness within your own self when someone else is telling you how great you are. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I've never once ever dreamed of anything like that. That's because that's not who we are, y'all. We're too busy in the astral realm doing beautiful things, making magic happen, getting this earth ready in order to ascend so we get to a place where we can all live cohesively together as one family, one single cell organism. You feel me? We're too busy for that shit. We're not worried about any of that. But here, here he is reminding you who you are. And people are talking about, oh, he's a racist. He's a racist. Who cares? Take the compliment. He knows who you are. And if he knows who you are, how many other of them knows who you are? Remember, we are the grandchildren of the ancient ones. That's who we are. We are the grandchildren of the ancient ones. And we are still the ancient ones because we're just clones of the ancient ones. That's it. That's it. Hold on, let me show y'all. All right. So, that being said, right? So, I just showed y'all, you know, these people, you know, um, you know, passing out, dying out and whatnot. Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Different Elohim, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's who we are. You see? You see? Put this into perspective, my people, right? Put this into uh, into perspective. Just like how you see, just like how you see, there is um, other races of us here. Like you have the Haitians, you know. I'm Haitian, you know. This 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 like I'm the Haitian, you know. I'm Haitian. So just like you see this different races of um of our people here, right? Haitian, 
Jamaican. Um, what's it called? You have you have uh, uh you have the 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 real Cubans, the real uh Puerto Ricans. You have the um the what's it called? Um, you know all these other beings. You know what I'm saying? All these other races. Now, as above, so below. You also have other races of extraterrestrials out there as well. You know what I'm saying? So you come from a, a, a specific um, constellation or star system that is that is that is um, that is contingent to your personality, right? Because every sun less that's why they call it a personality. Every sun lets off a certain personality. This is why you vibe with other people most uh, than uh, most than others. You know what I'm saying? You probably come from the same solar system as the other person. This is why we're all different shades of colors as well. We come from different different suns, different suns, right? There's different kinds of suns. You have the black sun, the red sun, the blue sun, the yellow sun. So this affects our personalities and gives us the the intrinsic characteristic traits to make us who and what we are. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm a different shade of brown than you are, a different shade of black than you are. You know what I'm saying? Not to mention our genes was messed with as well because now because we have a lower than frequency we we look like this we're not our true selves as our as our bodies ascending and our dna is changing we're going to become our bigger selves you know our godly self we're stepping into our higher power so understand that we just come from different solar systems and different countries just like here different countries different when you look into the universe all those stars are different countries different solar systems where you can visit your other brothers and talk to them and barter with them and share experiences and whatnot but they are the same there's nobody in this world that looks like us that has our hair that moves like us that talks like us nigga we make shit up because why we are the creator ourselves everybody want to be like us and talk like us why because we make shit up we are the trendsetters everybody want to be like us they look at us because they know who we are especially if you're a chosen one and you know who you are and you know what you came to do with tell me if you don't get looks where you wherever you go tell me that if you don't get looks wherever you go you know why because the simulation is always looking at you it's, it it moves according to your thought it moves according to your frequency test that shit out Go out in nature, go out in nature, not even nature. Go out in public and test that shit out. See if people don't look at you. They're looking at the corner I have because it, it's not just because you're melanated, but you're chosen. You're the only real entity in this physical reality. You're the only real entity in this physical reality. Don't give a damn if they're talking about you don't have a soul or not. Your physical vessel is able to ascertain what you call a soul. White people, let me ask you a question. If you are in here, you talking about that you have a soul and whatnot, right? Okay, so the, your, your soul sits in what's called your pineal gland. If more, if majority of you guys have what you call a calcified pineal gland, how does a soul sit in that pineal gland? You don't have a driver. You're just basically a Tesla. It's a Tesla that's moving around. You know what I'm saying? It's a Tesla. It's a driverless Tesla. Now remember, again, your body is the highest form of technology whatsoever. So the Tesla is shit compared to what a physical body does. You know what I'm saying? There's are people that walk around without a soul, without a soul within this physical body. So think about what you are. You know what I'm saying? Think about what you are. And there's no hatred. There's no hate. I don't hate. I'm just saying you are a lower aspect of ourselves that we are dealing with right now. And we are ascending because the reason why you can't come because we are, we're not in our lower selves no more. We are ascending to our higher selves. So because we are ascending to our higher selves, our lower aspects of ourselves cannot exist anymore. There's nothing. You just you were just here to teach us a lesson. That's it. You were just here to teach us a lesson before we can ascend so we can learn and love to appreciate my brothers and my sister. That's literally what it is because it fell out with us in the first place it fell out with us in the first place so this school was brought down here in order to get you to realize who and what you are for your brothers and your sisters so we can learn and love to appreciate one another you know what i'm saying and the job is done now we are sending regardless or not and this game is over so let's continue this shit y'all i want to hold on so Okay, um, so what's happening is, now, a couple years ago, right, a couple years ago, I started talking about this, I started talking about this, in, tw in 2019, when, when the thing came out, I started talking about it, I said, you're going to have a lot of your celebrities die out. You're going to have a lot of your politicians die out. You're going to have all these people die out because why? They know the game is over. They know the game is over. The game is over. So if the game is over, <clears throat> let me ask you a question. So the game is over, right? So they are stepping down because they know the game is over. 
Okay. So, where are they going? Where, where are they going? But let me show you this. Coolio died today. I know Coolio died today. And I said this. I said there's going to be a lot of celebrities dying out. I said this shit. And now you're seeing it. It's going to, it's going to exponentially increase. Just know that. It's going to exponentially increase. But I didn't even know these people. But check this out. Hold on, y'all. So, right here. So, this is basically an escape route for them. You know what I'm saying? It's an escape route for them. So, this is a... Just because... Out of sight, out of mind, right? But they have to tell you what's up. Out of sight, out of mind, right? So you telling me, you telling me, you telling me the government didn't know about shit like this, huh? If they're talking about, let me ask you a question. You know, wouldn't this be a good cover up for shit? What? Let me ask you a question. Wouldn't that be a good cover up for shit? What? Wouldn't that be a good cover up for for natural shit that's to come, right? Let let, let 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 me put this into a perspective. Let me give you the reason why that is. All right. There's what this called. There is what's called a flu season. Okay, the flu season is is prim primarily around the winter's time. All right, the winter time. The reason why it's around the winter time is because the the, the where where the sun is positioned around that time of year, where um, around the uh, around the uh, uh, where the sun is positioned around that time of year. Now you're getting the strongest types of energies from the primordial sun. Alcyon is what they call it. You're getting the primordial energies. So this is why they make these type of uh, these type of uh, months the busiest months for you in order to keep you and what and family in order to keep you from getting these energies that are coming in. Now the funny thing about it is why do they have what's called a flu season? Because this is around the time you're getting these high energies coming in. So what they do is they create a a scene around that time, right? They create a V around that time to give you so you don't get those flu because the flu stands for frequency light updates. You're getting frequency light updates from the sun every time around those seasons. So what they do is create a V for you to take so you don't get those frequency light upgrades. Let me remind you, those my, my people, those things are made for you. They're not made for anybody else but for you. Don't give a damn about anybody else. None of that shit matters. It's only for you in order to keep your body here in this third dimension. These people are wicked. They know exactly what the fuck they're doing. Creating these things around the time that you're getting the highest amounts of frequency and putting a putting a spell over the planet so you don't understand what's going on so let's go huh? this is what it is this is this is why they already do this this is why they really do this this is why they really do this around that time look at this look at it Christina Applegate. They going, y'all. They going out. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Look at this shit. Look at these people, boy. They're going. They're going, boy. Your boy Fred Flintstone. Now, do you see the people? Do you see the people?
Now let me ask you a question. Why is it important that they show you all these people? Hmm? Why is it important that they show you these type of people? And there's more of them. Let me, let me be clear that there's more of them. You know what I'm saying? There's more of them. It's just those people that they show right now, but there's more of them. There's way more of them. But again, I said this a few years ago. I said these people are going to start dying off because they know the game is over. The game is over for them. They basically have usurped so much energy from you guys in the form of money that they don't, you know what I'm saying? It, it's over for them. Their job was done. Their job was done. Remember, remember in the Bible, right? Remember in the Bible, it says, um, oh, in the Bible, it said, when the job of when the job of the devil or Satan is done, then when God when God returns, um, Satan will be ejected from earth. Okay, which is um, uh, Satan is allegory for uh, white people, and the reason why that is is because the word white means the word white means white, I mean, the word the word uh, Satan comes from the word Shaitan, which means white, wicked, and weak. This is what it really what it means. I'm not kidding you. This is really what it means. So when it basically is saying when God returns the Anunnaki, our ancestors, the consciousness, we're going to realize this, which is nothing but consciousness. Again, I just said this. When we realize it, we're going to ascend to a level mentally where these people are not going to be able to vibrate on the same frequency as us. So again, we're literally splitting. We're literally splitting. You know, the simulation is going to go off and live whatever it does, their new world order, whatever it may be. But we are literally splitting from their world. We're not going to be part of this world anymore okay this is exactly what's happening that's why they're getting us ready for this solar flare that's supposed to be happening right they're talking about the emp they have no idea when it's going to happen but for the people who are who are who are intrinsic to this reality to this eight to this earth to gaia tmi whatever you want to call her we are fine everything is fine baby we are ascending you know what i'm saying we are ascending hold on let me see um But so the other thing what's going on, y'all, they have been messing with um, a couple years ago. Um, now, if you didn't know, the North Pole has completely melted. I don't know if y'all knew that. The North Pole has completely melted. Look at it. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look, this was the North Pole. I can't see what year it is, but this is as of July 24th. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. From ice, from ice to water. So from ice to water, the North Pole, okay? As you can see, there's another sun. There's another sun back there. This is, this is, this is two suns, right? This is two suns. So you got the yellow sun and you got the red sun, the Biru behind it. Now, um, the reason why this is this is um, uh, a thing right now, not even scary, but to the point is it's going to be scary for a lot of people because what has happened is with the ice melting, this is thing called perma uh, perma permafrost. All right, this is permafrost. Hold on, this is what you call permafrost. Okay, okay. So this is permafrost. So you have the ground, then you have the layer that, so kind of like your skin, right? You got your skin, you have the, you have the epidermis, the dermis, the subcutaneous layer, um, right here, permafrost. Permafrost is where bacteria and viruses can live. Let me show you a, a, a kind of like a real picture. So this is, this is ice, right? This is ice. And then you have a layer that's underneath the ice called permafrost. Now in this layer, you have bacterias and viruses that can live on there. Now, <clears throat> the reason why this is important in order to know this is because these bacterias and these viruses that's living there are what? Guess what? These bacterias are hundreds and thousands of years old. And I'm gonna go into a point on why that, why this is important. Check this out. Let's watch this video, y'all, hold on. Y'all, how, how y'all doing? I hope y'all doing well. 
we're gonna get it. All right. I'm not trying to be here too long, but you know, I gotta, I, I gotta bring y'all the facts. I gotta bring y'all the facts. The truth. In December 2016, a remote community in Siberia experienced a mysterious outbreak. 90 people were hospitalized and a 12-year-old boy died. Soon, Russian officials identified what had killed him, the deadly infectious disease anthrax. Now, the outbreak had started now, among okay, go ahead. reindeer. To contain the spread, they burned over 2,000 reindeer carcasses. The strange thing was, there hadn't been an anthrax outbreak in the area for more than 70 years. Get some juice, y'all. So to figure out where it came from, scientists started looking underground. In the coldest parts of the world, there's a layer of the earth that stays frozen all year. Every summer, the soil above it thaws, but this deeper layer stays hard as rock. This is permafrost. Most permafrost is here in the Northern hemisphere around the Arctic. And because it never thaws, permafrost acts kind of like the freezer in your kitchen. When plants and animals here die, they don't actually decompose. Instead, they become preserved in the frozen earth like a time capsule. And it's been that way for thousands of years. But that's changing. Today, humans are burning carbon and making the atmosphere warmer. And that's causing the permafrost to thaw and shrink. By 2100, only these areas will still have any permafrost. And that's causing some problems. When permafrost melts, the land above it becomes unstable, which can lead to landslides. Man-made structures start to fall apart as the ground underneath them collapses. And dead plants and animals that had been frozen for years are starting to thaw out. As they're exposed to air and bacteria, this organic material starts to decompose. That releases greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane. But that's not all it releases. In Siberia, scientists think that the anthrax outbreak came from a long dead reindeer carcass that thawed out along with the permafrost. Anthrax spores from the carcass would have spread across the area and infected reindeer grazing nearby. And it's not just anthrax. Scientists worry that as permafrost melts, it could unearth all sorts of diseases we thought we had under control. 35 million people live around permafrost. But the carbon released as permafrost melts will accelerate the impacts of climate change everywhere. Rising seas, heat waves, droughts in some places, and floods in others. Look at that. And now we can add one more thing to that list. Diseases we thought we conquered. Hmm. <clears throat> why why they say we thought we conquered? Hmm? So the reason why <clears throat> the reason why I brought that up, the whole perm, uh, permafrost thing, right, y'all? Because um this and you saw how they <clears throat> you see how they always try to make it like it is some animal. You you see how they always make it seem like it is some animal, right? Hmm? You see? Now they're talking about a deer. <laughs> Do you see how they always try to make it seem like it is an animal? Now, the reason why this is important, but the fact of the matter is, so a bacteria, right? If you don't know what a bacteria is, um, this is what a bacteria is. This is what it looks like, okay? Okay, now, right here, this is what a bacteria looks like, okay? So... The bacteria, they they are one single cell, okay? One biological single cell, okay? And it constitutes of a prokaryotic, it is a prokaryotic microorganism, okay? A prokaryotic microorganism, okay? I'm gonna say that one more time, okay? For the people in the back, it is a prokaryotic microorganism okay so this little guy this little fella lives inside of you okay now the reason why that is important is because um 
these beings were stuck in the ice okay along with viruses and viruses are are the reason why viruses can survive the reason why viruses can survive um in permaculture is because technically viruses aren't alive viruses are what you call like ethereal beings you know what i'm saying but what's happening is through perma uh through they're talking about it's through you know what did climate change you know they always gotta blame you right they always gotta blame you that's the only time black people don't get all the blame, right? When it has to do with climate, when it has to do with climate change. After that, everybody gets blamed when it comes to climate change. Every single person. It's not just black. <laughs> it's not just black people at that point in time. Everybody has to do with what climate, what what's affecting climate change or whatnot. Um, so, <clears throat> so uh, because of that, um, because of the ice melting, these viruses that were living in these ices. They're coming back alive. They're coming back into being, right? So get guess what's happening? Guess what's happening? I'm about to show you. Hold on. So I don't y'all y'all probably seen this shit. Y'all probably seen this. Right. In the middle of the night and immediately begins recording, the deer is covered in strange growths and appears to have lost all fear of humans. Look One of his shit. friends gets close and tries to feed the deer by hand, which I think is a bad idea because CWD could possibly be spread through saliva for all we know. The deer appears to be curious and actually considers eating from his hand before deciding to feast on the grass instead. Grass is not its preferred fruit choice, so I think this deer might be covered in gross and starving, but not necessarily has CWD. I've also never seen a deer with CWD eat before. That still doesn't explain why it comes alarmingly close to both of them though. So maybe this deer does have CWD after all. Number 10. A mother deer aimlessly walks in circles while its young grazes nearby. You can tell that one of her fawn senses that something is deeply wrong with its mother at the 1 minute 23 second mark, but it can't tell exactly what the problem is. Judging from the deer's high steps and low grass, it seems to have some sort of neurological problem, most likely CWD. According to the uploader, the mother deer wandered over to a nearby creek and fell into the water. She was unable to lift her neck out of the shallow water and passed away. They have been leaving some corn for the fawn to survive on hopefully they do not get cwd as well you see number nine <clears throat> so this old vhs video marks one of the earliest documented cases of cwd amongst the deer population notice how these signs could easily be mistaken for rabies or something similar they were staggering and drooling they showed signs of extreme thirst Their ears so i'm trying to show another video this deer appears to be <clears throat> in the late stages of CWD, at which point it becomes too incapacitated to walk in circles. Instead, they stand with their legs spread very far apart and stare without blinking. Mm. This poor... Now, you see... You see... Hold on. Now, you see the thing is... The reason why that is important is because what's, ha what's really happening is... <clears throat> the... The the viruses and the bacteria that are being released through perm uh, through the heat of the second sun, Nibiru, uh, Nemesis, whatever you want to call it, uh, Blue Kachina, Wreckage, whatever you want to call it, right? So the heat from the second sun is actually causing the ice to melt, to melt faster. And this is causing the viruses and the bacteria that was in the ice to now be, uh, to be, go be alive and basically, you know, uh, um, and permeate the earth so this is actually entering into um um inorganic beings because remember those viruses are about when the ice age started what two hundred thousand years ago right when they froze the earth and whatnot atlantis 200 400 thousand years yeah two hundred thousand years ago when they froze atlantis um those were the viruses and bacteria that were stuck in the ice so now guess what happens if you don't have what's called prokaryotic, if you don't have what's called prokaryotic cells, if you're not a pro prokaryotic cell being, or if you don't have what's called ancient bloodlines, guess what's going to happen to you? If you don't have ancient bloodlines to take in these things, guess what's going to happen to you? Now, do you see what's happened to those deers? <clears throat> not, <clears throat> not only the deers, 
not only deers, y'all, but also I was looking for the other animal. Oh, there it is, right here. Is this it? Fam, so Scott, Ryan TV, bang, 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 grand rising, everyone. Well, it's up, more life, <laughs> yo, family. It? Today, we're gonna have a zombie apocalypse special. You see me? We're gonna connect the dots and break down what's going on with on. this zombie breakout that's about to happen. I don't think we're gonna show you the science. Is it? Let's go. Yeah, there we this, go. You see? This is a zombie insect. It's not alive, but incredible. You see? It's not dead. No body? Just a head, only one wing, and he's crawling. It's a fucking zombie. Look at that. The nervous shit. system of these insects was manipulated by a silent killer. This cicada can't control its own body, which has already been taken over by another being. Although it's still alive, this organism is slowly being devoured. And here is the culprit. at the bottom right here you see how the bottom the abdomen is missing and it's replaced by this powder macada infected by the pathogenic fungus massive spora cicadina once the insect is infected by the fungus it induces it to continue spreading its spores commanding its body to continue its lineage somehow the cicadas managed to survive this you see what it's doing so this is a new this is a new um this is a new virus that they founded that is coming out. Hold on, where's the video at? Let me see, let me see. I think it was, no, it's not this one. Yeah, oh, it's this one. Check this out. Viruses have been a problem for humans since the herpes simplex virus jumped from chimpanzees to the modern human ancestor, Homo erectus, about 1.6 million years ago. This is bullshit. But now, <laughs> scientists... Yeah, throwing this off. But it says right here in the title of the story, in the title of the thing, uh, uh, the video, scientists says, scientists brings back ancient virus. Okay, you see what they're doing? But it's not them, y'all. That threatens us all. What have scientists found? And should we be worried about waking up an ancient virus? During the last decade, there's been a growing fear of one possible consequence of climate change, a zombie virus, frozen in the Arctic ice for thousands or maybe even millions of years, coming back to life and infecting animals or humans as the ice in the Arctic begins to melt. The Arctic is full of frozen viruses and bacteria, and these microorganisms have been found in everything from glaciers to permafrost and often in the icy remains of their buried victims. Most of these pathogens lurking in the ice are thought to be harmless to humans, but some experts say zombie viruses are lurking in the ice, waiting to be set free by rising temperatures. Humans have existed side by side with dangerous viruses and bacteria from the bubonic plague to smallpox since the evolution of modern humans. We've evolved to resist most viruses, but they seem to always develop new ways of infecting us. <laughs> As for bacteria, we've had antibiotics for nearly a century, but even oh, bacteria respond by evolving antibiotic resistance. It's an endless battle. But what would happen if we were to be suddenly exposed to a deadly bacteria or virus that's been absent for thousands or maybe millions of years? Something we've never met before. It's possible we're about to find out. So how can a yes. virus or bacteria survive in extreme temperatures and come back to life? Strictly speaking, viruses cannot die for the simple fact they're not alive in the first place. Yes. Although viruses contain genetic instructions in the form of DNA or the related... You hear that, right? It contains genetic information in the form of DNA. So what it basically... So viruses are basically... are They are constantly upgrading your, uh, your, your system, okay? They, they, they're either going to upgrade your system or downgrade your system. If you're organic, upgrade your system. If you're not organic, downgrade your system. ...molecule RNA, they cannot reproduce and thrive on their own. 
Instead, a virus needs to invade a host organism and hijack its genetic instructions. Because of this, some viruses can be frozen and then thawed out and come back ready to infect a host. There you go. In 2014, an ancient virus was found 100 feet down in a frozen layer of the Siberian permafrost that's been lying dormant for at least 32,000 years. It's called Pithovirus cybersium and belongs to a class of giant viruses. Unlike other viruses, this giant class is so big, it can be seen under a regular microscope, measuring 1.5 micrometers in length. It's the biggest virus ever found, 10 times larger than the HIV virus. The last time it infected something was thousands of years ago, but now in the lab, the virus came back to life. Tests showed that the giant virus attacked amoebas by going into the cell and multiplying until the amoeba dies. That sounds frightening. Playing football for 15 years taught me many important things like hard work and tenacity. It taught me when you Yo, that's crazy, really man. They just did it. Give me this long ass, long ass commercial, y'all. Let me show you what having Yo, football YouTube tough lawyers with the shit, can do bro. for you. In this area, we are subject to a lot of storms, landslides. Frightening. But the good news is, this virus is unable to infect humans. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Guys, because they are the virus. Um, let's go. Let me see. Yeah, so as you see, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Um Let me see it. There's one more thing. Let me see. There's these fishes right here. It's always happening in their country, y'all. Shit like this keeps happening in their country. <laughs> yeah, that shit crazy. The way that they're going crazy to see these fishes. That shit's just insane, y'all. Um, the artist I'm playing is Rachel Chino, uh, Chino Riri. Chino Riri. It's called So My Darling. Rachel Chino Riri, So My Darling. Hold on. Wait. Right here. The one that's highlighted green. Right there. So, my people, as you can see, the world is changing right before your eyes. Again, you know, you you are very you are privy to this you you're, you're privy to this beautiful realization, this beautiful rea this beautiful reality that's basically being constructed right in front of you, but at the same time, it's being destroyed. The very thing that has been hindering, you know, what's been happening, y'all, my people. Do you know why we we you do you know why we've been we've been in this position, right? Imagine, right? Imagine. So the only thing that ever exists is a mind. It's a thought. Thought is the only thing that exists. Thought, right? Thought. Imagine coming into an environment and you are being programmed and controlled every single day, right? Every single day. Slavery happens, right? Slavery happens. 400 years, nothing but trauma, abuse, killing, raping, pillaging, burning, um, a buck breaking, all these type of atrocities that has been done to us, right? So, this environment is not conducive to us. I want you to know that. We have been hijacked, okay? We have been hijacked. So this environment is not conducive to us whatsoever. So of course it's hard for you to be successful at what, you, at what you're at. You know what I'm saying? Because why? You're too busy focusing on why this world is not the way that you thought it was supposed to be. You're a high vibrational being. This shit right here is foreign to you. 
I know you know this because you feel this way. And because you feel this way, you have to pick up on certain vices in order to make you escape this reality that you know this does not fit you. Why do you think the people who have these vices are us? Because this reality is not for us. These other people, they're part of this reality to make you get stuck in this reality. So you can't see the greatness of what you are. This is what they do to us in order. It's not just divide and conquer us, but it's put a, a, it's put a creation of synthetic beings amongst us in order to confuse us, in order to make us stay away from each other. Put propaganda on the TV to make us hate one each other, to hate each other, and then go to other beings to make us find that love. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that we really need is love for the mother and the son, the original mother and the son to love one another. That's literally it. And then once that happens, the problem fixes itself. The problem fixes itself. So in order to keep you from doing that, they had to create a re they had to create a reality for you. They had to put that veil over your eyes. But right now, we are mentally ascending into another realm of thought where well, this shit is starting not to exist. If you don't believe me, look at this shit around you. They are falling down. They are then disconnected. The earth is getting a cleansing. I'm in the motherfucking middle of a hurricane right now. And I don't give a fuck. I don't care what's happening. But this shit must happen in order for us to get back to where we belong. Our God and Goddesshood. This is literally what's happening. And it needs to happen. We are getting back to ourselves. In order to get back to what's going on out there. Back to the cosmos, back to the universe, back to seeing your star brothers and your star sisters. You need to go within, connect with yourself first. And it's gotta start with you. I'm gonna let y'all know that, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to share that information with y'all. I just wanted to share that information with y'all. We are on the verge of greatness, you guys. This is the first time in the whole in the whole universe that we will ascend as a planet don't you want to be part of this great experience a matter of fact you're here for a reason you are a soldier you are a star a soul ja soul of ja of the most high Yahweh, whatever god universe intelligence Unity, oneness, whatever it is that you want to call is intrinsic to you. You are just a soul, a beautiful sun, a beautiful planet that's manifesting to this physical in order to experience what it's like to be living on one of your mothers or one of your sisters. You know what I'm saying? And then to get that breath from the elements, to get that sunlight from your big brother. That's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. It's a great experience. And I'm here to live it some more. You feel me? But here I am, y'all. I preach the love, y'all. As always, you know what I'm saying? You know my saying, y'all. Thank you for tuning into my frequency. You only tune into my frequency because you resonate with the information that I have. You know what I'm saying? Listen, we here. Listen, for whoever... You only tune into my frequency because you resonate with the information that I have. 